Now, no, I bet you weren't expecting this. I'm all done and wrapped up um, for what I'm hoping at the time that I record this is an Arsenal win or at least an Arsenal way goal has been scored. Um, and you didn't think I was going to give you another video tonight. But yeah, I figured I'd give you one more. And that is a Chig Knows Best video series where I compare uh, Jonathan Tarr and Apple Meccano. Now... For those of you who don't know and have been living under a rock, um, pretty much for the last year or so, we've been linked with uh, the yacht Apamakano, who is the RB Leipzig 21-year-old defender. A very, very good prospect, um, six foot tall, uh, built like a brick shit house. Um, is one of two very talented defenders in that particular side. Um, the other one being Kanute, who's the person I would pick. But anyway, I digress. Um, and I, I think personally, listen, I think perhaps because I have a preference for his defensive partner, because I think his defensive partner is six for four, I think he's better. He's more comfortable in the ball. Uh, but make no mistake, Ava Makano ain't crap. You know, very, very good player. Very, very, excuse me, very, very strong. Sorry, I, I'm going to try and cut that out. <laughs> very, very strong. Um, especially under pressure. Uh, very, very composed under pressure. Um, and I think his ceiling is actually pretty big. I mean, it can go one of two ways for him. Uh, occasionally, and, and this is due to his raw age, can lose concentration sometimes. Uh, that is my issue with him. I think sometimes he can... Um, you can be caught out of position a little bit and then have to rely back on his pace. He does have very good pace. Um, again, his partner's also just as quick, if not a little bit quicker. Um, and yeah, I think you can see why a lot of people are looking at him. And a lot of people are looking at him. Us, as well as Man City and a number of others, are looking at Diot Apamakano. Um, he is set to cost in the region of about 40 to 50 million pounds. Um, he has refused all new talks for a new contract with his current club, um, which would suggest that he is looking to leave uh, as soon as possible, and we are ready to make that offer um, for him. Um, it seems like in recent times, Arsenal have been looking elsewhere. We learned towards the end of January they were after the Lille defender, uh, Gabriel, um, I can't pronounce his second name, so I'm just going to keep it Gabriel. Um, and he's 22 years old, Lille defender, has grown quite considerably from what he he used to be considered quite an unreliable defender, uh, but has turned into a decent prospect. Um, Lille themselves were willing to listen to offers for about 30 million. Uh, and um, from an Arsenal perspective, um, we just weren't prepared to go that high, particularly in January. We were looking at loan deals and loan deals only. And then subsequently, we ended up with Mari uh, being signed on loan. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if Arsenal go back for him. But there's always been a name that's come up about a potential player that Arsenal could sign. And there was no under real understanding as to why no one was being strongly linked with him. And that player is Jonathan Tarr. Now, with Jonathan Tarr, we're talking about someone who the people have wanted, you guys have wanted, for some time. Every time I talk about defenders, there'll be two or three people in the chat room. And we'll talk about, what about Jonathan Tarr? What about Jonathan Tarr? What about Jonathan Tarr? And to be honest, it's easy to see why. I mean, we're talking about someone who is a little bit older than Apple Meccano and obviously subsequently older than our, one of our new centre-backs, Saliba. Um, but I actually don't mind that. I actually quite like that. I think you guys underestimate how much of a raw talent Saliba is going to be. Um, he's going to need a lot of guidance and he's going to need a lot of experience. And for someone as young as Jonathan Tarr, he has that. You know, he's a big unit of a guy as well. 
We're talking about six foot five. Um, built like a brick shit house. So ninety five kg in terms of um, in terms of weight. Um, German international. Um, we are talking about someone who plays for Bayer Leverkusen. So more often than not, plays at the top or upper echelons of the, of the game, albeit not necessarily the most competitive league. Uh, but he's got that at least that Champions League experience. Um, and, you know, I thought it'd be interesting to sort of compare the two, particularly with regards to the current season. Um, so if we look at both guys, uh, Jonathan Tarr has played 42 times um, so far this season. Uh, Ap- Diot Apamakano has played 32 games. Somehow Jonathan Tarr has had two assists. <laughs> Fair play to him, obviously. Apamakano has had none. Um, Jonathan Tars has seven clean sheets. Apple McConnell's had eight. So Apple McConnell's got him there. In terms of lost goals, um, uh, Jonathan Tarr has conceded a couple more lost goals than John. Sorry, Jonathan Tarr has conceded a, lot, a couple of lost goals more than um, uh, Diot Apple McConnell. Um, AVG goals per match. So, AVG goals lost per match. Um, Jonathan Tarr hasn't beat. He concedes one less goal per match. Sorry. Let me try that little sentence again. In terms of AVG lost goals per match, Jonathan Tarr, one. Apple Meccano, 1.19. So, that's pretty interesting. Minutes per lost goal. Um... So, uh, Jonathan Tarr goes 73 minutes before losing a goal. Diop Abamakano goes 66 minutes before losing a goal. So, these are pretty interesting stats. Uh, completed pass rate. This is interesting. Um, Jonathan Tarr, 88%. Diop Abamakano, 87%. I mean, they're damn near the same, but it just goes to show you. you know, maybe Jonathan Tarr is almost the, the slightly more accomplished uh, version of the two, which is natural given the fact that he is obviously the older one. In terms of shots per game, um, Jonathan Tarr has less shots per game than Apple Meccano, which is not surprising because Apple Meccano does like to come forward as a centre as a centre back. Um, in terms of aggression, I would say they're more or less the same. Whilst Jonathan Carr Jonathan Tarr has been sent off this season. He's also picked up six yellow cards, which is probably about right for a centre-back. Um, and um, Dior Apamakano has picked up six yellow cards. Um, so we're looking at two very evenly matched guys, but I just got a feeling, who would I pick, I guess? Who do I think is the more accomplished defender? Um... If it was me, and it was up to me, uh, bear in mind that apparently um, Jonathan Tarr will cost £33 million until the Euro starts. And then once the Euro starts, his clause in his contract expires. So we can either pay £33 million for Jonathan Tarr, or €40 million, Euros, or we pay the £40 to £50 million for a younger potentially, slightly more potential, maybe, in Apple Meccano. Who would I pick? Uh, for me, I'd pick Jonathan Tarr. I think the combination of Jonathan Tarr and um, and uh, Saliba would work better than as Apple Meccano and Saliba. Because in Apple Meccano and Saliba, I think they are two very good defenders, but let's be real here, we're banking heavily on potential with both of them. Both of them are prone to the occasional error. They are prone to the occasional mistake. And we know as Arsenal fans, we like to jump on young players quite quickly when they are prone to those errors and mistakes. Whereas I think with Tar, he's had a little bit more experience in crucial competitions. Um, German defenders... Nine times out of ten are excellent. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. I think people are appreciating Perma a second now 
that he's left, or, or he's retired at least, uh, than, they, than we did when he was playing. German defenders generally know what they're doing. They can read the game quite well. As, by the way, can Jonathan Tarr. Um, and I just feel as though that seems to be the more sensible move. I, I, I feel like, with Ampel Makano, I've always said it, I feel like he'll end up at City. I made that call since day one. It would not surprise me if uh, Pep decides to go and get him, even in spite of their, you know, their their current plights with regards to bands and stuff. Would not surprise me. Would not surprise me. Liverpool decided, you know what? We need some, We need a new Van Dyke. He's getting on a little bit. Why don't we go and make that purchase for Apple Makana? Um, I just don't see him ending up as an Arsenal player. I feel like he's been hyped in the most interesting of places. I feel like we're not going to compete with that. Let's just go for Tar. Let's get that deal done quietly and then move on. Um, so for me, out of the two, who would I pick? Dior Apamakano or Jonathan Tar? It'd be Jonathan Tar. I think he's a class defender. Uh, maybe I've not particularly reiterated that whenever I do shows because I always get asked about him. And I just go, yeah, I'd pick him. But trust me, very good defender. And one I'd love us to go and get if we can get that done. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think. Who would you pick? Leave it in the comments below. I love it when you guys do comment because it gives me an, an opportunity to interact with you. All I would ask is keep it respectful and I will keep it equally respectful. My light squad, you know what to do. This is your gig. This is your show. Crush that like button for me. Absolutely drill it, drop kick the crap out of it, um, and just own it, you know? And let people know about the show. I want it to continue to grow and expand and as I bring more things for you, more new stuff for you. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow where I'll do another Late Night with Chick. Uh, but until then, I'm out of here. Take care. Deuces.